In this video, let's take a look at our boundary surface inputs and how edge selection can change the surfaces we created. So let's take a look at this 350Z hood boundary surface we created to take a look at what inputs we can change. So we're gonna edit this input and take a look at the options we have for our direction one curves. So you'll notice that the drop-down box at the top changes the influence of each curve. For instance, we can have a global influence, we can have two next curve, sharp edge, next edge, or linear. Now, because we're dealing with basically a four-sided patch here, the influence isn't really gonna have a drastic effect. It has a larger effect when you're dealing with multiple direction one curves or multiple direction two curves, because you're dealing with curvature influence up to that edge or up to that next sharp section. Because we're dealing with the entire part, the curvature that we're creating really has the influence based on tangency or curvature that we apply. The difference between tangency and curvature has to do with the curvature on the resulting surface edge that we're grabbing. So for instance, we created an extruded surface or a helper surface because we're mirroring this part about that plane. Now, because we're dealing with an extruded surface, there's no curvature in that side. We're only dealing with, in this case, curvature in the y and z direction. Because we are dealing with that, tangency option and curvature option are really going to give us the same result. Now, one thing we'll notice if we take a look at these curvature combs is we actually have a dip here right at the intersection where we're mirroring our hood. So this means that our curvature actually has an inflection point it's changing direction. So if we grab this tangency influence slider and drag it all the way up, we should be able to see a change in the influence on our part. So as you can see, when we drag it up, the tangency has a greater influence over the entire surface. And this is important because there are times when you can get issues like that where you have a negative and then a positive change in curvature. And that can really be seen when you mirror components, especially along broad surfaces. So it's important to know these options are here and know how to play with them, and that they're different for every edge selection. So for instance, we have tangency applied to this edge and nothing applied to this edge. So it's important that you select the edge in question and modify these different inputs to suit whatever you're designing. The same goes for our direction too. We have the same amount of influence over the curves and we can change the influence of each curve if we have tangency or curvature or even direction or normal to curve. If we have that influence, we can change it in each of those.